Hey guys, it's Christina. So today I have a very different kind of haul for you today. I've never done this on my channel before. This is a Louis Vuitton unboxing and also a lingerie haul. So okay, as you might be thinking, this is not real Louis Vuitton because if you've been on my channel for a while, you might know that I've never purchased like a real designer bag before ever and yes I will be doing a purse collection video but the most expensive bags that I have that I bought was like a Juicy Couture bag and then I have a gift that somebody gave me was like a Kate Spade bag. Like, I've never bought like a designer bag that was very expensive before but this company reached out to me and they have very good quality replicas of Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, Dior, Prada, everything you can name they've got it and these are supposed to be really good replicas not like a lot of stuff that you see out there and I have watched a few reviews from other girls here on YouTube about this company before so a lot of them say that yes they cannot tell the difference because they actually compared it to their Louis Vuittons that they have I don't have one to compare it to but I can say that I am very impressed because it's definitely got a nice quality to it it is made with real leather and when I looked up online the signs that you have to look for Everything in here was like legit, just like a Louis Vuitton. The only thing is that I don't have a real Louis Vuitton store in my area that I could go to and like ask them if they could tell if it was a replica or not. You know how you can go in and like authenticate it? I just don't have one or I would do that for you guys. So first I'm going to show you the two bags that I got. I got a Speedy and a Tivoli. And then I'm going to show you the bikinis and the lingerie. So if you look on their website, they actually claim that their employees have worked for Louis Vuitton before. So they do know how to make the replicas correctly, including the serial number, authenticity card, care booklet. They have the same oxidizing leather and genuine article but they do tell you on their website that they're not authentic because a lot of websites out there they'll be like oh yes we are affiliated with Louis Vuitton and they just had too many purses so that's why we're selling them for so cheap but they're definitely real and those websites like you know that's how you know that they're not real this website is straight up with you they're not lying they're like yes these are not authentic but they are very good quality so I'm gonna show you the Tivoli first because that is my favorite one okay so it does come in the dust bag that says Louis Vuitton on the bottom so this is the Tivoli GM they come in PM and GM this is the bigger size if you look on Louis Vuitton's website this bag is $2,000 but this website which is called designerhandbagsales.com and I will link it down below they have this listed for $349 but they did give me a coupon code for you guys which takes 40% off your purchase so if you applied it to this bag in particular it would be $209 which yes it is a little bit more expensive than a regular bag from the mall but if you think about it you know Louis Vuitton is a $2,000 bag so yeah you're still paying for real leather and the quality so I just wanted to show you how it comes all wrapped up and then inside this is what it looks like so it has the Louis Vuitton Paris made in France little logo it has a big pocket a little cell phone pocket and then another huge pocket on this side and then it does come with the handles alright so I just took all the packaging off of it this is what it looks like and like I said this is supposed to oxidize just like the real thing and by the way inside it does come with a card that I didn't show you guys and let's open this up so it just has like a little booklet in here and this bag I like more than the speedy the speedies are just very basic so they're very popular just because you can throw stuff in them you know but they are less expensive these Tivoli's they're more expensive because there's more detail into them and you can also put this over your shoulder some of the speedies you know they're like really tiny you can just put them on your arm but this way you can carry it with you when you're like shopping or something like that and it's huge it holds a lot of stuff and yes you can buy base shapers for them and also to go over some details for you that are normally telltale signs of fake bags is they say look at the stitching very closely so the stitching is supposed to be very perfect and all the details are supposed to be very symmetrical there's not supposed to be anything sticking out everything's supposed to be very straight I'm gonna zoom in so I can show you guys so like you see all the stitching is very symmetrical everything is quite perfect the LVs look very straight and on the bottom actually these little things I forgot to take the stickers off of these little things but this is what the Speedy doesn't have that's also a good thing about the Tivoli's is it's got these little um, like metal spikes on the bottom that prevent the bottom from you know rubbing against things when you put it down the Speedy the leather on the bottom of this is less likely to get damaged just because it's not touching anything directly it's you know being held up by these things and also it's one 
whole thing. A lot of times they'll say like, you know, the fakes, they use two pieces, one for the front, one for the back, and the LVs will be like one way, they'll be straight up. But here you can see the LVs are the right side up here, but then you turn it around and it's all one long piece, and then they're upside down on this side, which is the way the real bags are. And yes, it's got the LVs on the little zipper as well. Now let's move on to the Speedy. This is the Speedy 25, and yes, you can buy base shapers for both of the models everywhere online. So this comes with another dust bag as well. And in the package, it just looks like this. I just wanted to show you how everything comes when you get it in the mail. But I'm going to unpackage this real quick for you. Alright, so this is the Speedy 25, which is the smallest size. You can also get this in 30, 35, 40, I don't even know. There's like a lot of sizes. This is the smallest one. As you can see, you can just carry this on your arm. Like I said, you can't really put it on your shoulder. It's like really really tight so this is just a cute little thing that you can take with you when you don't want to carry a lot of stuff and like I said you can buy the base shapers for them but same thing with this the stitching is very clean I read on a lot of websites that you're supposed to look up here for the five stitches all right so you can see up here you can count one two three four five five stitches clean across same thing over here the, everything is very clean very symmetrical the LVs like I said it's one whole thing so on the other side they're upside down so same thing here the hardware is very detailed it says Louis Vuitton on these pieces right here and let's look inside so this one has a pocket on the side a very tight little pocket but the rest of it is just you know basic just like every speedy is it's just like one big you know bag no pockets just like the real ones you can buy um, a base shaper or you can buy a little compartmentalized base shaper that has like a base and also different pockets in it you can buy that this also comes with the card and then it also comes with the key and lock okay so this is what the little lock looks like it says LV on one side and then Louis Vuitton Paris made in France on the other side and it's got the tiny little keys for it I actually want to open this okay so it opens up and then I'm gonna actually put it on this piece right here and I'm gonna put the keys somewhere where I'm not gonna lose them but if you didn't know how these things work basically when you want to lock it if you're traveling or something you can lock this piece to this one right here so that nobody can open your bag so this is the cute little speedy and if you look on Louis Vuitton's website the speedy 25 goes for 950 plus you know tax and all that so a thousand dollars and then on designer handbag sales com it's $265 and then if you use the coupon code that I gave you guys it would be 159 which really isn't that bad so I will link their website and the coupon code in the info box below so comment and let me know which purse you liked better I definitely am in love with the Tivoli for sure and if you guys want me to do like an update down the road like in a few months and tell you how I'm liking the bag because you know like I said the handles are supposed to oxidize like the real thing and everything like that and by the way my mom I had her smell this and she said it does smell like real leather because I still can't smell that well after my surgery but yeah I just wanted to let you know that little thing so yeah let me know if you want me to do like an updated video for these down the road and by the way I know a lot of people are gonna be like oh you know it's so bad to wear replica and blah 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 but literally if you think about it they're everywhere whenever I went to New York or Ukraine they're everywhere and a lot of times they're really bad quality where from far away it looks like a Louis Vuitton you get up close it's just like a little design it's not even the logo or the quality is just like cheaply made like weird like does not even look like a Louis Vuitton like anybody could tell like an idiot could tell you know what I mean that it's not a real one and everybody rocks them and nobody cares like in the big cities at least you know like Kiev, New York like I said and when I went to Chinatown in New York they were like everywhere people coming up to you and just being like you know um, this is $150, but I could give you for $80, but the replicas didn't even look real. So I figured I would just get one to show you guys the difference in the quality because I got this just so I could show you guys. You know, I've never worn this. It's got the little tag on it, which, you know, it's just like, I don't know, some cheap tag. But the quality is really not even the same as those ones. First of all, the inside, like, look at that. It's got the designs inside, which the real ones do not at all. The zipper is just looks brassy and tarnished. It doesn't look like, you know, the real thing. This part right here, the red is coming off of it. Like, the red is peeling. Like, the rubber is just little rubber. It does not have a hole. And this thing doesn't have the attachment to attach to this, much less a lock. First of all, this is very, very, like, lightweight. And it doesn't feel like, it just feels like a cheap, you know. It's very, like, thin. It's not real leather, for sure. It's just, like 
rubber basically I don't know it's just very cheaply made even the inside like I said the pockets don't match the real thing I mean honestly like anybody could tell that this is fake like I said you can see the one side there um, you know the right way up and then you can see the seam on the bottom and the other side there the right way up again this is not from the website that I'm talking about again this is from Chinatown in New York so I just wanted to show you this to compare the quality to those ones. In other words, you know, there's no shame in wearing replica. I don't think I've never worn replica before, but I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people rock replicas like that that clearly are fake and they don't care, you know, and other people around them don't care because like in a big city, honestly, you just see so many people that nobody cares. So I just wanted to say that these are really good replicas. I've never bought one before. They sent me these ones, but from what I could tell, it totally looks legit. So if you have a Louis Vuitton, leave me a comment down below and tell me how real you think they look. Now this company has three websites, so designer handbag sales and then two other sister websites. One is for fashion pieces and then one is for lingerie. So the fashion website is called Fashion A Lot and they have, you know, shoes, clothes, accessories, everything like that. But I wanted to get bikinis from there. So the first one I got is this really, really cute a leopard bikini. I don't have anything like this and it just sits so pretty on. I will insert a picture right here of the model wearing it on their website. It just looks so gorgeous. So that's the top and then these are the bottoms they're just so cute and I don't know just the fact that it's like um, I don't normally buy anything in leather or like animal print like ever but this just looks so good on the model plus if you think about it like this goes well with a tan it almost looks like kind of like nude from far away you know what I mean and you know I work at bars I do a lot of bikini contests you know other kinds of contests so this will definitely come in handy and that swimsuit is only eight dollars and sixty six cents yeah talk about cheap that's awesome and this is the other bikini it is so cute it looks like lingerie which I guess you could wear as lingerie but it's got the little scrunch butt which would be so awesome for a bikini contest if I do another one these always make your butt look so good and this is the top it's got the same cute lace and the bow and this is very thin but you can put like one of those little triangle pads underneath so that way you know you can't see anything but this was only four dollars and 34 cents like that's crazy I've seen cute bikinis like this at the mall or just you know on different websites go for like 50 60 bucks you know maybe even up to a hundred and this is like not even five dollars like that's crazy and the website is called fashion a lot so we'll link it down below as well okay and the, finally the last website is for lingerie and it's called dealtrailer.com so I've got a bunch of pieces from them and actually they sent me this cute little rose with it which I thought was so adorable like I've never gotten anything like that before and I just thought it was so sweet so I'll just put this somewhere on my dresser with my brushes so it can be cute over there. Okay, so I'm going to show you each piece. And um, like I said, I do work at clubs. I wear skimpy stuff. I do a lot of contests. So for me, it's not unnormal to wear lingerie, you know, at work or something like that. I'm not saying I wear these pieces, but just in general, because a lot of people think like lingerie is only, you know, for at home. But you can wear a lot of this stuff on Halloween as well, you know, if you just dress up. Okay, so the first thing, I know it's kind of hard to tell what it looks like once I will insert the pictures of the models, like I said, but basically this thing goes across your back and then these cover your boobs and then you tie it in the front with a little bow and these have cute little ruffles on them and then these are the bottoms, you have the thong and then this kind of covers your butt so you have like a little tail to make your butt look a little bit bigger. Then you have the little garter and then you have these things that can go on your wrist as handcuffs or you can actually just cut it I guess and make little bows on each hand and then you get this mask which of course you don't have to wear if you're dressing up for Halloween but you know it's just like something extra then I have the same outfit in purple so the pieces look exactly the same but just in purple and this outfit is just $12.67 so you could just wear like a bra and boy shorts under the white one and some bunny ears and you could be a bunny for Halloween then all the rest of these are panties and I just love the packaging these are so cute okay so these first ones are black are cute black panties and the back has these diamonds on them and also I don't know if you can see but it's got this lace right there and then two strings and some diamonds and these are $9.56 on dealtrailer.com and then I got the same ones but 
in the turquoise a green color and this one you can actually see the diamonds a little bit better they go all the way around and down right here and it's got this flower right there so with the color you can definitely see better then they also sent me some of these panties which are actually um, crotchless and they have these like pearls on them which I've never had anything like this before so yeah but you know thanks for sending them and these are $8.73 and they've also sent me them in the red color so it looks like that and I like the bows in the back I don't know I like red and then finally they sent me them in the pink color very girly so yeah that is it for my video I'm gonna go before it gets super long but like I said check out all three of those websites I will put the links to them down below in the down bar thank you again to this company for sending me all this stuff I'm really gonna try out this Tivoli bag and wear it around and see what happens if anybody can tell or if the handles get worn I will definitely let you guys know how I like it in a few months or weeks or whatever let me know if you want me to do another video just comment below definitely subscribe if you like this video and also if you want to check out my vlog channel or add me on Facebook Instagram or Twitter I will have all my links in the down bar and I'll see you next time bye so if you've been my subscriber for a while you know I talk about this website a lot especially around like Black Friday the holidays when everybody's shopping online when there's a lot of good deals online because you don't want to be at the mall standing in line